Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is Galdu Bam back with another pick a card reading for all of you. This is going to be for the month of September 2024 prediction, monthly prediction, what is coming towards you, what is coming next um, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and romantically in your life. Uh, what are you going to experience uh, in your life in the next months? Uh, what type of blessings, changes, uh, what type of progress, uh, what type of, uh, you know, experience you're going to have in the next month uh, september 2024 uh, any area and in which area of your life i'm definitely going to describe it here it's going to be a general reading as i always say on my channel so please take what resonates and leave the rest uh, you can book a personal reading uh, with more specifically with your detail or energy currently that you want to know about um, you can reach out to me on my email address you can even follow me on instagram link is given in the description and also in the comments you can reach out to me and follow me please also there on instagram there is a three group in front of you. Choose intuitively if you want to pick it. Uh, pick the group intuitively. Number one is this beautiful crystal, like a diamond crystal, green crystal. Number two is butterfly. Number three is this beautiful heart-shaped um, gift cover. Number th and if you want to pick it up through zodiac sign, if you don't want to pick it up by intuitively, for those people who want to pick it up by zodiac sign because that's what's your request. So for group number one, Capricorn, Gemini, Scorpio, and Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, whatever you resonates with the most, you're going to pick it up. Number two is this Virgo, Cancer, Libra, and Aries. Number three is going to be Taurus, Pisces, Leo, and Aquarius. I'm going to meet you on your reading. We are going to use a lot of articles, card, and tarot. And I'm also going to use the charms because you guys love it, so why not? So let's start the reading. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give me your feedback. I will really appreciate it in the comments box, whatever your energy is. Uh, I'm going to, on your, me, going to meet you on your reading. Let's go. Let's start it. Hello, group number one. Welcome. If you choose this beautiful green crystal, um, diamond crystal, and your zodiac signs are Capricorn, Gemini, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. And this is going to be the theme of your reading in this month, and we're going to pre-shuffles, or uh, we're going to shuffle oracles, card, and tarot more. So this is going to be nine of swords. Okay, so a lot of you, you could be worried about a lot of things. There's a lot of things. You're, okay, you're struggling with something. Yeah, so struggling with some type of uh, insomnia, can't sleep, worried about something. There's a lot of panic attack. I'm also picking up a lot of you. You could be struggling with some type of anxiety, tension, depression, uh, struggling with some type of uh, health issues here. Or you could be worried about too much about something or someone. Um, so that's your energy is right now or maybe in the month of September you're going to feel some type of anxious energy or something like it's like you're worried about something about future something that's not in your control something that's or you could be stuck in something that you're having a difficult time to get over okay yeah so let me see what is the these oracles card are saying and we also going to pull some oracles card here for you what is going to happen for you in this month yeah, you could be lacking something. Okay. Also gonna get some hair. Okay, and from this place, what is that? Okay, let's start it. Um, and then this card is talking about fox. Number 14, selfishness, tricky, wrongness, clever, suspicious, and caution. Nine of wands, another nine. So you could be seeing nine, nine number a lot here. Okay, you could be worried about this person or you are suspicious about somebody. There's a deception going on here. Maybe you're dealing with some type of deception or this could be even a self-deception here, to be honest, like you're having a difficult time to take the leap of faith. You're hiding yourself. You're not understanding your power and worth. Let's see, we have the tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. We have a fox and tiger here. Ooh, there, this could be... We will see it. We have the mice, a lot of animals. Discard among friends or family. Yeah, th that could be. And we have the stork, yeah. News of a birth or a new business opportunity coming to you. And then we have the grapes. Time to go out and have fun. Ooh, okay. Um... From this, you can see that as obstacles here in the love, in the matter of the love. We have a look for ways around to the obstacles to find happiness. So you could be some of you struggling with to find the right person. You could be even feeling lonely. Maybe that's why this is the energy here. We have the power. The power of love is like a magnet, drawing souls together. There's a lot of yellow here. So some of you, you could be 
<clears throat> and orange or red so could be having a difficult time in your solar plexus chakra and your sacral chakra yeah there could be some type of emotional block here or you're feeling very anxious and and also there's some type of a lack of confidence here yeah i'm feeling there's something blockage in your solar plexus chakra your sacral chakra and your heart chakra it's a blockage here understand that please we have the cupid love is in the air when cupid's around okay there's somebody's coming and it's a divinely sent it's look like an angel to me so there's a power of love here and also there's a lot of yellow and red here a lot of hot energy here so this person could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius or they have a lot of passion and desire for you but just look like are they sabotaging it or you you could be having a difficult time to express yourself but let's see or to be in a relationship with somebody we have a wow <clears throat> number 54 pay attention to the numbers and signs are uh, 54 yeah wish hope and worship interesting and then we have the schedule number 76 there's a timing here so you maybe think you're running out of the time we have management plan and organize yeah you could be thinking you're running out of the time maybe that's why you're worried about too much about your future you're worried about too much obstacles in love and you think that the time is getting out you also have the self-love here, number 43. Self-concern, self-healing, and independence. Yeah, a lot of you, you this, could be, this could be what you're lacking in yourself because that's what you're feeling. Wait a minute, let me set it. There is definitely somebody around you or you have your eyes on somebody. Like if you like somebody, you're not taking the risk to go back, to, to go back, no, not go back. Go to this person or tell this person how you feel or this is that person that you can feel this person energy. This is somebody that you are very worried about it. You're, you, there's a deception here. You think you're getting out of the time, running out of the time. Why this person is not coming forward? Why they're hiding? Why they're not coming? Um, there is issues here. You could be dealing with somebody or this is your energy that you're facing some type of friends and family discord here or this person, whoever this is. Either this is you or the person that you're dealing with. So take what resonates, it's about you or you can flip the energy. But I feel this could be also you. In this month, you can also feel some type of friends or family discard here. There's somebody suspicious, okay? Like you could be not, please do not trust that person if you're like anxious or get anxious or you think that, oh, I cannot trust this person. So be careful. Be careful with that person, whoever this is. But why I'm feeling this is somebody else energy here with a fox and the tiger. This person could have a very like a hazel brown eyes here, like a foxy eyes. You know what, what they call the fox. The fox is standing out to me. So this person could be uh, watching you, observing you, but they're hiding it. They're not hiding. They're worried about a lot of things here. It's look like if they will step up, if they will take this step, if they will take this risk, it's going to bring a lot of, you know, discard in their friends and family. Everything is going to shake up. And that's what this person worried about. This person has extreme level of anxiety. Uh, they could have a panic attack. This person cannot control it. But there's something about you. You, give the, you calm this person energy. Especially if this is a masculine with a fox and tiger. I can see that. This is a masculine person. They, they could even born into a tiger year of Chinese. Does not matter. But could be. Are you maybe already facing this type of issue with this person? And if you're already in a relationship or married to somebody, in this month that could be, a, this, this type of issues can arise in the family or your in-laws. There's also something that you wanna do and you could be even, you know, like, suspicious of your partner. You think that they're doing something behind your back and you need to go check it out. Yeah, for some of you it's like that. Um, and that could be the issue here but I believe this is them here the person that you're dealing with there's somebody here who is watching you and they're going to take the risk they want to take the risk but it looks like their family and friends are not going to approve it or they're already their friends or family is stopping this person like don't do it it's a risky thing um, but there is a news here there's a good news here coming your way it's a good news for you it's a birth of a new business or opportunity. Maybe this person wants to work with you. Some of you, this is somebody who really see the future with you. They think that with the wow here, I strongly feel like it's a um, wish and hope here that to work with you and to connect with you. So there could be uh, some type of, uh, 
yeah this is a powerful connection that's what i can tell you either it's a business partnership happening with somebody and this person is taking the risk with you or you are taking risk with this person whoever this is okay and there's a new business it's like opportunity or let's say it's like some type of a birth of a, this this like a contract or deal i can see that happening between you and this person this person not going to listen to anybody they literally want to offer you something whoever this is and this person is taking the risk on you or giving you this offer that whatever this offer is like bringing you the birth bringing you like good news bringing you this new idea of money or opportunity or uh, helping you or favoring you with a financial thing whoever this is because, because i think this person has a power this person is wealthy this person is on sitting on some type of position power it could be even a boss here like some of some of you this is a boss or somebody who is like in some type of a position and they have a resources to give you this right but giving you this opportunity or giving you this like um this favor it's going to bring a lot of i think discord in their friends and family or being with you because i'm seeing with the wow here it could be you're taking the vows it's like a wish fulfillment like this is somebody that you're praying and wishing for that to be with you in a romantic relationship right and you both are going to be together okay and this person is like cupid like they're they're already falling in love or they are in love with you already i think but this is like a cupid arrow strike like they this love is very powerful they're very very attracted to you i think they're very magnetically attracted to you it's like they can't de hold their desires for you they're very passionate about you they could be even emotionally connected with you because they believe with the self love here like you're not even chasing this person look at this how you're sitting here if you're a woman watching this video or your feminine energy this is a masculine this is a feminine so feminine is not chasing we know that feminine is all about you know like self care self esteem self healing you're independent you're growing you're being in your own it's like zen uh, energy like you're being in your own zone here and this person is watching you this person really wants you whoever this is uh, 4366 or 76 or 54 could be important here number 14 pay attention to it we have grapes uh, time to go out and have fun so maybe this person want to take you somewhere and it's a risky thing here because they maybe can get caught or maybe somebody can watch them so they could be very like being cautious here to talk to you to communicate with you or to take you out whoever this is they really want to take you out whoever this is they want to meet you they want to it's like this is all planning in this person mind or maybe they want they have a plan to you know to work with you to have a business with you but it looks like they're very cautious uh so they cannot get caught but this person is very anxious to approach you whoever this is uh but i'm also picking up a lot of you you is like you're very in the energy of zen here so if you're feeling single or disappointed or deceptive with somebody and you think you're running out of the time you have this power to you know manifest a uh, very uh, powerful love here and the love it, love love is around you maybe you need to just go out and have fun to meet somebody to put yourself out there okay to meet uh new people with the stork is like a birth of you take the risk in the matter of love and romance or if you have let's say if you like somebody take the risk and let this person know about your feelings but i believe there is somebody else here this is somebody this this that person energy mostly it's just like dominating this energy here i can see that this person is like literally all about you let me see now what's happening here so from tarot i'm going to use this deck So a lot of you, your focus will be definitely on self-love here, self uh, self-care, and the more we're gonna focus on our, on ourselves, the more we're gonna be very clear in our path. Like, what do we want? What do we want? What do I want? Where I wanna go? So this is what that's why the self-love is very needed in our life, um, because we then we really can understand what is best for us, what is good for us, what we can you know be cautious of. Um, This person is definitely thinking that if they are going to make a wrong choice or right choice like they definitely that's why they they feel like it's very tricky thing here. They they may be even thinking that they're going to do something wrong here. They're doing something wrong. So maybe that's why this person is like very anxious and stuck in the energy. There could be air sign. I'm picking up fire. Literally fire could be Leo. It's very strong in this person chart. Uh I'm also picking up Scorpio. So I was talking about this person. They could have a tan skin, a lighter skin like a darker complexion like a yellow like a pale like pale yellow or something yellow pale or something or like some type of whitish skin or darker skin like a yellowish yellowish you know and also this person's eyes are definitely hazel brown or brown like foxy eyes or uh, their eyes are very like could be even siren eyes but i'm also picking up you know like almond eyes this person have a almond eyes like there's something about this person's eyes they're very intimidating by the way If this is a masculine they're very powerful they just look at it they're going to look at you or they look at people and the people get oh like 
everybody knows that this person is not to mess around. They have a power, they have a position, whoever this is. So they could, they could be making a very smart or clever move here towards you. They want to be cautious here though. Whatever they are offering you, they want to be cautious. But they are in love. This is like a very powerful love here. Uh, they're falling in love or there's obstacles here. Maybe they want to talk to you about this, whatever the matter going on here. It's like a cupid arrow. This person could be reaching out to you because you are doing the work here on yourself. So there's a, a schedule here. Maybe this person is going to plan like we need to visit there. We need to go there. You could be even going to meet this person on some type of a specific place. Like let's say holy place or traditional place. Like this person is going to invite you there. That's how you're going to first meeting will be. Maybe they want to discuss something to you. They may want to share something to you, but this is also somebody who is going to be offering you this, this new business opportunity or work opportunity or you know, even in a relationship. Let's see. And with these grapes here, oh my God, this person could be physically very, very attractive and drawn to you. Oh my goodness, I said it and we have the Empress. Like, come on. Okay, let me pull the cards like that so you can see the cards here. We have an Empress, uh, Nine of Cups, King of Swords. Here you go. This is that person, the person of the power and authority. Hmm. So this could be a boss. Some of you, this could be a teacher. This could be a boss, a teacher, or somebody who is... I'm also picking up this person could be in the balance in their masculine and feminine energy. This person really likes you. It looks like they're falling in love with you, with the Cupid's here, Nine of Cups. They're very attracted to you. They're very drawn to you. The energy, your aura with the Empress, like you don't need them. That's what this person is making them more crazy and craving for you. So a lot of you, this could be a boss or somebody that who's your senior, um, senior or somebody who's your teacher, professor, or they could be on some type of position and authority. You can see that somebody who's very creative in business, business owner or somebody who's an entrepreneur, somebody who's like definitely sitting in position and power. And they like you. They're very... So it could be some type of a confession coming. Four of Swords, yeah, there's no contact between you and this person right now. But it's a good news for you. This person definitely have a good news for you. I also think that you, you really make, because this person is very anxious, they're very like, have a, a lot of issues, mental health issues, or they have a difficulty. They could be even sabotager, sabotage, overthinker. But there's something about your energy with the Empress and Four of Swords is like a very motherly, nurturing energy here. Or you could be literally a mother watching this video. I don't know. With the Four of Swords is like definitely you really calm this person. There, there's something about your energy here. There's something about your aura that you really calm this person. They feel very calm. There's something about your energy like they feel very calm. They don't feel nervous. Uh, and they feel very grounded. They feel seen by you. They feel like they can trust you. Even though this person is not the person to trust anybody. Because I think of their power and position. Now, some of you, you could be dealing with somebody who is like, have to deal with a lot of like issues. Like they need to deal with a lot of, you know, like very hectic uh, lifestyle every day. They could be even a surgeon or doctor because I think their job is very tiring, exhausting. Uh, and with this King of Swords is also talking to me, somebody who's like, there's, there's mind is always active. Like they could be very smart, very genius, very intelligent. Like somebody who's on a higher position, definitely. And they have a very like a... Yeah, this person is like very educated. High profile job. And, but at the same time, responsibility is also tough and difficult, right? Could be in like a, somebody who's in military, army, police, uh, professor definitely teaching education education related or could be even uh, job banking if this is a banking somebody who's like working with the finances on a higher position like something this person is definitely on a high rank or position we also have the moon and nine of swords look at this this person is going uh, crazy they're hiding it I think this person could have a cancer or Scorpio moon okay could be an air sign moon because that's what this person is thinking they're thinking too much they're overthinking too much they're going through, they're suffering. They can't sleep at night with the moon and nine of swords. 
Yeah, again, nine of swords coming twice here. Oh my God, crazy. This is definitely, this person could be, okay. Now, another thing here that you maybe see as this person is like very cool, calm, collected and detached. Like you will thinking, oh my God, there's no way that this person can even think about it. Or this person could even get worried or they could be even nervous or they could be this type of person because they come off like very, very powerful, very strong, independent. Again, very intimidating, right? You cannot even imagine that this person has this issue because they're hiding it. They hide very well. They hide it very well. But this person is like suffering with anxiety, depression, stress behind the closed door. Especially at the night, this person think about you. They can't sleep at night, by the way. So I think if you are getting nervous and anxious and facing this, so this could be the person that was mirroring you. I think this person really want to talk to you. They're hiding it. It's very like... Yeah, I think this person could have some type of addictions, but it's mo mostly it's a mental health issues here with the moon and nine of swords. I think they're struggling. They could even can't sleep at night. They definitely have a very like a bad sleeping uh, schedule or something. It's disturbed. Or this person could be struggling with some type of uh, issues here, so they want to reach out. They want to talk to you. Your, re your presence is very healing for this person. They could definitely be watching you from afar. Your presence heal this person, calm this person. And that's why this person is going to take the risk towards you. They just want you to add in, you know, like... They just want you to be in their life. Now, I don't know if they're coming with some type of a financial offer with the Empress because they think that this is what you deserve and this is that that's how they can provide for you because they have the resources and they're willing to give you these resources and want to work with you. It's a, definitely a new business um, opportunity here to work with this person. Uh, and, this, and because of this person, you are going to be on a high profile too with the Empress here are successful or maybe this person is going to put you on some type of position if you're working under this person they're going to help you to upgrade your lifestyle your money your finances and we have a, a news of a birth here so an empress is a birth too so this could be when somebody who's like wanting to give this relationship a chance giving a birth confession it's a love it's romance and taking the vows like we're together maybe commitment so i think you have done the work and that's why this person is coming to you whoever this is they're very anxious to approach you they're very nervous and you can feel this person energy by the way now, a lot of you, I think you maybe already saw this person in your dreams with the moon card. They're coming. You're very, very intuitively connected with this person. Now, don't get panic if this person could reach out to you. Some of you, you're going to get panic here. This person does not want to make you nervous. <laughs> because I'm picking up this person is very intimidating with the tiger and the fox here. They're very intimidating. You, you, you're going to be, you're going to think they're tricking you. They, they have a wrong intention. That's what you're going to think. Or maybe you're already thinking they have a wrong intention or they're, they're deceptive. They're not telling you. No, there's something going on in this person's personal life. Or they're facing with this type of issue here. That they're acting like cool, like, oh, I don't care. But they do. This person is being cautious here. Or you will be very cautious here. If this person want to meet you, you will also be very, like, uh, suspicious of their meeting. Like, you're going to be like, what do they want from you? Maybe you're going to see them. They just only want physical things from you because of the grapes here. I think they're going to be very, very attracted and drawn to you. And you're going to think, like, they're lusting over you or they want something physical with you. You're not going to believe that, by the way. I think you may be having a trust issues here with this person, but they are more nervous than you because they think that you're getting them wrong. Like somehow you're, you're getting their image wrong. Or, or if they will come, uh, how they will come. It's like uh, either you will get panic or you will get, you know, like uh, they don't understand how to tell you about this issue. But I think intuitively you can pick this person energy. They're definitely Cupid are coming to you. This person could be a Taurus and Libra. They definitely have a Venus, very active Venus placements here. So they're very abundant, very happy, go lucky. They're very lucky and abundant. Business mind, mindset type of person, very intellectual, logical, logical, very like practical type of person. And you're totally different. You're a feminine. So this masculine is, is attracted to feminine very clearly. It's, it's clear. So if you're single here, you're attracting this person or this person is already present in your energy. You can feel this person energy. And it's really make you anxious or worry or um, panic because you think, oh, why, why this person is, is coming into my dreams or why this person is around me or why I'm seeing this person. I think there's something about you running away from this person. They're, they're watching you. They're just waiting for the right time to give you this opportunity. I think it's happening very soon in the month of October or September. September. Definitely September. If it's not in October, definitely it's happening. Let me see more. Some of you, you need to take care of your health here. I think you're definitely going to visit the doctor. Or maybe you're, you are taking care of the health of your mother. And if you're already a mother or feminine watching this video, you could be taking care of, you need to take care of your health here. Very, very, like take it seriously. You could be worried. Uh, and yeah, four of cups reverse. Yeah, getting out of some type of a, you know, like things did not go well. This person maybe was thinking too much. Like I'm going to get rejected. I'm going to get... Maybe you're not interested in them. I think they don't want to be there anymore. They want to get out of it. They're going to take the leap of faith. They're going to take the risk here. I think they're willing to take you and they're nervous. They know that you can reject them and you're not interested in them, but they're going to do it.
Oh, two of cups. I think it's going to be lucky. You will be lucky too and they will be too. Yeah. So they are thinking that maybe you're not interested in that, but you both are in love with each other. You also like this person. But the problem is that there is a blockage between you and this person. You're not talking. You could be mirroring each other. You both are nervous to approach or to confess to each other. Or there is a blockage here. Like you're not talking somehow. So two of cups. It's going to be definitely love here. Mutual union, mutual attraction, uh, confession to each other. And the moment this person is going to you know, confess their feelings, that they're going to take the leap of faith. They, they, want, they know that you're the one. It's like you both are going to take the vows here. So they maybe want to take you somewhere. They want to meet you up. Some of you, this is somebody that you like too, but it's look like you both are not expressing to each other. They're worried that you're going to reject them, but I think you're not. You're not definitely going to take their offer and you're going to meet them. But you will also be, I think, yeah, you're going to be cautious. And they're also cautious about you, by the way, to reaching out, approaching you. I think this is also the love that's going to grow with the time, the Knight of Pentacles. It's going to take it time to, you know, grow together, some of you. Yeah, this person maybe want to work with you, with the two Knight of Pentacles. They have a plan. They definitely have a plan to give you this type of opportunity. So they're coming with some type of maybe financial offer, financial opportunity or business offer. Uh, they think that when you both are going to work together, obviously it's how you're going to get to know each other. It's how you're going to get along and it's how you're going to get close to each other. So maybe this is somebody that you're going to work in business together, the both or you're working with already and it's going to develop into something more now romantic. But I think this person is going to take it slow. So just give them time. They're going to take it slow. This is definitely a Knight Pent Pentacles so they definitely have a Taurus placements in their chart. I told you, this person has a Taurus and Libra placements. Um, very strong um, Lib Venus placements. So they're not just in love with you. They just want to make it now materialize this connection. That's what I'm picking up of intention of this person in this month. You may be even meeting this person this month. Or you already know them. So things are moving forward between you and this person. Yeah, it's, it's about to happen. Look at this. It's like... Some of you are hearing that you're going to meet them in some type of a music event or ceremony. It's a confession coming. Your angels are definitely sporting this, whatever this is. You knew it. So listen to your heart, listen to your soul. Um, this person is also going to be finally taking the leap of faith. They are, it's like they know that they need to listen to their, they need to act now. They need to listen to their intuition and heart and come towards you. So maybe they have been thinking, planning for a long time and finally they're going to make a move. I think it's coming in the month of uh, September and October. Just... This month, if it's not, then maybe you're going to make a plan and you've got to fix the date. Like, when are we meeting? Uh, your finances is also going to improve. I strongly feel collaboration happening with somebody or somebody is favoring you, but they're being cautious so nobody can tell you. With a lot of fun here, I think you're also going to have a fun with your partner if you're already in a relationship or maybe with family. I don't know. But with a lover, definitely with the two of cups. Friendship, love. Um, you're going to have a fun with somebody. You really need to go out. And if you're single and you're like, oh, there's nobody around me, just go out. Get out of your comfort zone. Get out of this situation so you can have fun. You can be, you know, in the nature or connect with the nature or maybe do something that makes you happy. So that's how you're going to attract this person. Because this person needs to see you. They're going to, I think they're already seeing you, whoever this is. But let's see. What's more? Um, you're also attracting a new business or job offer coming your way. Okay. And avoid the, any drama that's happening in the family, with the friends and family. Okay, just pay attention to your health here, or maybe your mother health or something. Um, some of you, you could be worried here because you're having a difficult time to conceiving a baby. It will happen with the time. Just relax. I don't know who need to hear this message, but I, I hear that. You could be the same age or this person could be younger than you, but they're more mature and wiser. Or they could be more like lucky in the matter of like, let's say, Money and finances. You're crazy. Something crazy happening to you. I'm telling you in this month. This month is going to be very crazy. You're not going to believe that. It's going to be like a crazy moment for you. Yeah, tree. It's about something abundant, grounding again. Um, financial growth. There's abundance here. There's a success here. For those, of, for those of you who are into business, your own business, it's flourishing. It's blossoming. Uh, you could be even starting your own business and that's going to flourish and blossom. So give it a time. The Knight of Pentacles is going to grow with the time. Um, we also have a spell here. So yeah, money spell. So you definitely put it and I think there's a lot of money and wealth coming your way. This person definitely want to meet you. Coffee, yeah. You're going to have a coffee date or you're going to get to know. It's going to be a lighthearted meeting. This person maybe want to talk to you about money and finances. Yeah, it could be even near the nature or somewhere, some type of a place. Restaurant or some type of a place here. Yeah, we have this, um, it's like a Ganesh in the Hindu culture, right? And we also have the, her, and this is like an um, elephant. And we also have the seahorse. Yeah, this person is stable. This is your divine counterpart. 
It's a very spiritual connection. It's a, it's a divine counterpart. Soulmate, definitely two of cups soulmate. This is your divine counterpart. It's a very spiritual connection. It's a very spiritual union happening between two people. But it's it's grounding now. There's something Taurus here. I don't know why I keep coming. Yeah, you're seeing this person in your dream. So you're one of your dream is coming true. Uh, some of you, it's about money here. You put the money spell and this is you. You're going to make the, this generational wealth or you're working very hard to make money. Yeah, something is locked here. You need to open your heart. Something is unlocking too. Yeah, we have this uh, like a... Yeah, it's a letter. It's like appointment letter or message or email coming to you. That's going to unlock a lot of things. Uh, we have a Cupid here again here. Yeah, it's an arrow. It was, you know, it was an arrow. So we have a Cupid arrow. So could, this person could be a Sagittarius. Are you going to meet this person in a different place or city, a town? And they could have a different religious belief than you. Some of you, you could be Hindu or this person could be Indian, like, you know, culture. Uh, not for everybody, but it could be. We also have letter Y. Number four could be important, and seven, seven plus four, eleven. Yeah, you could be seeing one one number a lot. Yeah, this is again, uh, it's a, it's a turtle. So definitely, it's going to take some time. It's going to be very slow and sturdy in the race. This person has been planning for a long time. I think they're going to act on it now. They need to release their anxiety, tension, and stress. They could be worried if they're going to make a wrong choice or not, because this person is definitely is somebody who's very powerful in position. And they could be on taking care of their reputation or image a lot. This person owns the family business also. Yeah, again, the money. This person is bringing a lot of wealth, luxury in your life with the Empress. I can smell luxury in. Um, either this is you, you're creating for your own self, or this person. This person is bringing that. Yeah, this is a, going to be a very beautiful lotus flower. It's like a very spiritual connection and union. It's going to be a true love. Could be past life if you believe in that. It's going to be very like a ho some of you, you're visiting holy place. Are you going to meet this person on some type of a holy place? Now, some of you are also picking up, you're going to get married to this person in a very holy place. Like, I can see that it's happening in the maybe, uh, if you're Indian, obviously it's going to happen in the mandir, like a temple. If it's mo if you're Muslim, you're going to happen, it's like into a mosque, like a specific place, like a very religious and traditional place. And if you're Christian, it's going to be happening in church. Like something, it's it's like, it's going to be in a happening in a very, uh, very, you, you both are going to take the vows in front of the God. Whatever you believe, whatever your religion is, it's going to happen like that. Yeah, oh my god, it's a very like very spiritual love here. Like you both are very uh, you both could be very spiritual, you both could be very like religious or this person could be like that. It's happening, I think. It's just this person is taking the vow with you. Yeah, I think they're gonna take the vow. Yeah, some of you it's like X energy, but I don't wanna go there. Maybe you're gonna take the your time uh, we have a DY and S. Yeah. So some of you maybe uh, um, you need to let someone go or they need to let it go. I think that people are stopping this person, but they're not going to be stopped. They know what do they want. The direction will be very clear between you and this person. I think everything is going to move very forward between you and this person. So that's your reading. Um, I will see you later. Bye. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Hello, group number two. Welcome. If you choose the butterfly here and you're, if you choose the zodiac sign here, by the zodiac sign, so your zodiac sign could be Virgo, Cancer, Libra or Aries, does not matter, but for the people who choose it by zodiac sign, so this could be that. Butterfly is the sign of a transformation, it's a change, you could be seeing a lot of butterflies. Or in the next uh, 30 days, you're going to see the butterfly, so it could be a sign here, whatever you're manifesting, it's coming true. But I think you're transforming, you're changing, there's a lot of healing happening in your life. There's a, I'm hearing mindset change, so there's something about your mindset is changing, evolving, growing. You're not the same person as you used to be in the like... If you look at yourself in the previous five years or ten years, that's how you're going. You may be in a reflection mode. You're definitely making the changes in your life. But something about your mindset is changing. Let's see more. Uh, eight of Swords. So you could be, this is your overall energy. You could be stuck in something or you're having a difficult time to maybe make a choice. You could be afraid of uh, changes here. You may be not understanding where are you going. Some of you, you're lost here. I can understand because you could be in the phase of like dark night of a soul or you're not understanding what type of change is happening in your life, especially mentally. I told you like growing or changing. You don't know how to make these changes or why you're changing, why something is, is not working in your favor. You could be even questioning a lot of things um, right now or maybe in the month of, uh, obviously in the month of September. Yeah, so something, you're also not understanding the question here. You could be waiting for some type of answers here, not coming to you. You're not understanding something. Um, you could be feeling stuck or sabotaging something. Like something is in your control, but you like, 
I don't know how to do it, or you could be even lost right now in something or someone. Or you could be even dealing with somebody uh, who is sabotaging the connection or sabotaging your life, sabotaging your happiness. But it could be even a self-sabotage here. Like some of you, you're having a difficult time. Oh yeah, you're definitely going through it. Some of you, you could be Libra here or dealing with a Libra. Gemini or Aquarius. Okay. What's uh, more here, right? No, no more cards. So let me see anything else. No, I from from this, I think. We're gonna put some two or three cards from this. Oh, some of you worried about money or marriage. Let's see. What is this card saying? We have the mouse. Hmm. 23. It's also talk about stress, nerve, uh, depletion, theft, disease, and flaw. Okay, I'm seven wands. Some of you are definitely struggling with some type of a mental health issues. Yeah, there's a stress here. Something about you're really taking a lot of pressure and stress. Confused about a lot of things. Stuck in something. N don't know where are you going. You may be even worried about something that is, is stolen from you or taken from you. It's look like you think where is your life is taking you. Or, or if somebody stole money from you, you're stuck. Somebody stole something from you, you could be even feeling stuck here. Like some of you could be illness here. I don't know, like mental illness or you could be worried about your health here or somebody's else, somebody's else health here. You could be worried about it. Yeah, there's a definitely self-esteem issues also you guys are facing right now. But this is a phase, it's a temporary situation, you will get over it. There's a definitely need of change here in your mindset, in your healing, recovery. Okay, let's see more. We have illusion, yes. Avoid the trap of m mistaking a fantasy for a true soul connection. So you could be deceptive by someone or something. Um, we also have emotions involved. Yeah, look deep within your emotions. Some of you are dealing with the unrequited love or deception. This could be even a fantasy, dreaming about somebody like this is your person, but you know that it's, it's just addiction or obsession. You could be even facing with lumerance, like thinking that this is your person, but it's just addiction, illusion here. Emotions attached here, so it's unrequited love here. I can understand what's going on here, but we have the marriage, yeah. A marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blending together. Oh, some of you, you could be even dreaming about this person, like you will get married, this is your divine counterpart, all that stuff that you're facing, you're, you're thinking about this person. I'm also picking up somebody um, took advantage of you. Maybe you think that this person really made the promise and in this month you're gonna realize that this person just were doing nothing but they just, this was an illusion. Yeah, so this theft here. So you maybe think that, oh my God, this person lied to me. Or what do they want? You're not going to understand that, what this person wants. Is this illusion? Is this real? If this is wacky? It's like, is this really, I'm emotionally attached to this person? It's unrequited love? That's what you're questioning. There's a lot of things going on in your life that you're confused. You're stuck in something or someone. You could be even having a difficult time to let somebody go that you're attached with. And I understand because it's just addiction, obsession, or lumerance. Like you're in your mind, in your head, you already plan that you're going to get married to this person or you will be with this person. And all of a sudden, this is like... Nothing is happening. You have no idea what's, where are we standing, what are we, you know, that type of a situation here. Or maybe you're going to realize finally about somebody that is just not going anywhere. It's just you are the one here. It's like stuck in this illusion. Yeah, it's like uh, stress and depression here. A lot of you, you're facing that. Yeah, you need to calm your energy, do meditation or healing or yoga maybe. Some of you definitely need to maintain inner peace to get out of this situation. Put yourself into sports or fitness or health or yoga or something to do with the meditation. Yeah, simplicity and meditation is very important and needed. Number 14 could be important. Um, we have a liberation, 58. Yeah, donation and prayer. Yeah, religion. There's a lot of, I think a lot of you could be struggling with definitely depression and mental health or struggling with some type of uh, issues here that you need to pray and heal and do donation or pray. You may be even going to part uh, participate in some type of, uh, I think, uh, religious or charitable uh, event this month and you will go for charity or you go we will go for some type of i think some of you are definitely putting yourself into this type of uh, actively or you need to do do some type of donation here 
and pray and connect with your religion or culture, connect with your religion or spirituality, whatever you believe in. We also have a sweet dreams, so 39, yeah. So satisfaction, comfortable and lazy day. So you may be even seeing something in your dreams here. So maybe pay attention to your dreams. Uh, signs are trying to guide you about something or someone. Yeah, maybe you have a sleeping problem for some of you who are struggling with some type of a illness, disease or health issues. Or you could be worried about somebody else. Let's see more. We have the bull here. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. You could be dealing with the Taurus. Four leaf clover. Great, good fortune coming to you. I think you're going to win over your opposition, whoever these people are. You could be dealing with somebody who's very stubborn. We have a torch. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Yeah, so a lot of you are going through a spiritual awakening, lightening, healing, recovering from a lot of things. And you could be on the path of like, of your soul, like listen, uh, you know, looking for your soul purpose, looking for your healing, looking for the answers. I told you, your soul is seeking the answers. Your soul is looking for the path. Your soul is looking for the guidance or healing. So it's really important for you to right now connect with yourself to yourself, wherever you feel very lighthearted and happy and lucky so something about luck is turning in your favor you could be even connecting with the more religion more spirituality more healing donating if you are good enough and lucky enough you can donate to other people that who are not you know um these people could not be uh, can afford a lot light of things i think you need to definitely do that or you will definitely go into that type of place places there to remove these obstacles and illness in your life. You could be even going to visit some type of, a, I think, um, religious place to calm yourself. It's very important for you. You're definitely dealing with somebody who's very stubborn or very like, uh, you both are on opposite energy, whoever this person is. There are forces against you that people does not want you to get married or maybe they don't want you to heal, recover, or maybe they don't want you to you know, be lucky in something that you are getting. We also have uh, spare, heartache over what you no longer have. Oh yeah, oh yeah, stolen theft. So some of you, you could be, you are definitely heartbroken and sad um, about something or someone that's not in your control anymore. And that's why you're stuck here, still there. You could be living in the past here. Still thinking about that incident, that moment, that partner, that person, yeah. So that's, that's why it's creating a lot of mess, depression, stress, and anxiety, or uh, something that you lost. Something is no longer in your life anymore. That's what you're worried about. I think they're also telling you be grateful what you have uh, in your life right now. I also believe that you could be dealing with somebody who is going through this depression and stress because this person was very stubborn. They were not, uh, I think, emotionally uh, awakened or they were not spiritually awakened. This person was all about in 3D, especially if this person has a Taurus placement, I can tell you, or Sagittarius placements. Like this person was very like naive or uh, could be Aries, um, that person who was, or maybe this is your energy. You, you were dealing with somebody who was like very naive, very like uh, happy-go-lucky, or they were just all in 3D, materialistic, attached with a lot of things. So your connection really triggered them to get into some type of spirituality or healing or recovery. Um, and around this person is stressing. You maybe thought it's all illusion or it's one-sided, right? But this person finally getting the answer, there's a light here. This person may be still hopeful and they feel, still think that there's a chance that we can be together. But I think you're over. You're not there anymore in this person's life or vice versa. Um, you maybe think this person is not there anymore. Yeah, this is something already broken. This is something already is like taken from you or not there anymore in your life. So you cannot be worried about these things that you cannot have anymore. Yeah, you're stuck in something. You are definitely depressing about something or someone. Yeah, and I don't look at this. This person is coming forward, but they're still looking at back. So yeah, you could be, uh, you were dealing with somebody who's a player. Uh, they did not see this coming. Again, Sagittarius energy here could be. Um, they couldn't even born into a horse here. Again, the moon is here. I'm strongly picking up intuition here, moon. So it's all about illusion. It's all about deception. It's all about mental. You are definitely working a lot of things on mentally. It's, also, it's like a mental blockage, mental healing. 
mental health issues. A lot of things about your fears also stopping you to get out of your comfort zone. Yeah, look at this. Six of Swords and Three of Pentacles. And we have a Three of Wands. Yes, so some of you, I think you just need to keep moving forward. This person could live on the distance from you with a Three of Wands and Six of Swords. They're still watching you. They're still maybe with the Three of Pentacles wanting to work this connection, Four of Cups reverse. Maybe it's too late. But I don't want to go back to the, your exes here, but some of you are still struggling. You could be waiting for somebody. Like you still think that there's a hope here that they will come back. Or maybe you still maybe want to see where this can go. But I think with the Six of Swords, mentally you need to move on from this situation. You maybe want to fix things with somebody. Now or this could be that person coming your way. Like this person still watching you. They're still look, looking at back to you. Even some of you, you are in the mid here, like in the transformation, transition period. Like you're definitely wanting, you know that you need to move forward, but you're still looking at back. Look at this. So that's why you're struggling. You're in the mid. You know that with the four of cups reverse here. It's not, this is the situation that's giving you nothing. You, you look at this, you're tired of waiting. You're bored of waiting. So let me see more here. Uh, some of you, you will be lucky in something, like especially in the matter of the money and finances. And also, I think somebody is also going to help you uh, to give you this torch, like give you guidance, like what you need to do. I don't know, it's your spirit guides, it could be your ancestors, or it could be anybody that who's trying to help you, that how to, you know, recover from this situation, or get out of this situation. It's a once, new beginning, definitely something new is starting in your life. And we also have the Three of Cups. Yeah, a lot of trees. You could be seeing three, three number a lot. Triple three, definitely. Emperor. Yeah, you're definitely dealing with Aries. Aries, I would say Capricorn, Scorpio, Taurus. Look at the hangman. This person is still stuck on you, Two of Pentacles. They still maybe think that there's a chance that we can be together. Now, some of you, this could be somebody that... Yeah, I don't think so. Between you and this person ever, this relationship grown. Mm -mm. This is just uh, maybe all in your head. You're still waiting. You're still, or maybe it's, this was a connection that at some point you're wanting. You, this person really led you on, or believe, make you believe that you will be together, right? Or, or we will see that. But this person never put the effort. Some of you are waiting for this person still. You're juggling on it with the two of pentacles. Like, should I wait for this person or should I not? Or this person is stuck here. Like this person really. If this is not you, this is them. Okay. Just take what resonates, because obviously if it's not you, it's them. We have a definitely emperor and knight of wands, so now I'm sure this person is Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Definitely have a fire placements, but we also have a Taurus energy. Like somebody is very stubborn. They don't want to change. They don't want to be... They don't want you to change. This is somebody who's also very like my way or highway type of a person here. But now, I think meeting you is like definitely changing this person perspe perception. They may be even thinking about relationship. They want to give this relationship a chance, and, uh, or they want to give it a try, but... Is it too late? That's a question. Is it too late or this could be some of you, it's a brand new person. So I also believe that there's a new person coming into your life, but you need to let someone go from your mind. The person that you're attached with, like let's say, it's, you know that it's emotionally uh, unrequited love. It's somebody who's not making the effort. It's somebody who's not present in your life. It's like somebody that is just illusion. It's just a fantasy and dream. And you just keep waiting and keep thinking, oh, maybe one day I will meet or maybe I will be together. It's just a dream, sweet dreams. There is somebody coming into your life in real world and practical world. You're going to meet this person. Maybe you're traveling somewhere. So good luck for those people who are definitely making important changes in their life for finances. I think there's definitely some type of a new beginning starting here. You may be even about to start some type. You will be lucky with this four-leaf clover. Starting a new work or skill that you're learning, you're going to work on this, you're going to see that where this progress can go. And you may be even going to do some type of a collaboration with somebody or working with somebody. You may be even making new friends here. You will have a good time, you know, uh, if you're moving somewhere, shifting somewhere. Some of you, because I see the travel here with the Six of Swords, either with the friends, with, somebody, with, with your friends or with your closed one, you're definitely going to have some type of a picnic trip or traveling. Um, I'm also picking up, you could be. Um, yeah, this person could be still waiting for a reconnection, reconciliation, whoever this is. They want to give this relationship a chance. I think this person is going to take action. Some of you, this person is going to take action. I'm talking to those people who their person is thinking about it. Like they're, they maybe thought it's a long distance or maybe they thought that it's not going to be possible because you both are different people. This person is very stubborn. They were not looking for a relationship. They were not looking for marriage. They were not looking for a romantic relationship even. So they were, they, they were thinking, no, it's not going to be possible. This is that person now. Their whole life is flipped now. They're thinking about it. 
They're thinking about you. They're thinking, they're, look at this emperor is sitting there, thinking their perception has changed. They have a lot of, I think, mental, mentally they've grown, they change, changed, the perspective change about relationship, or they really want to give this a try, especially if this person has an Aries, Sagittarius placements, or Pisces, or Taurus. Because this person was too stubborn. They were not the person. They were very practical and 3D type of a person, living in the practical world, living in like, I have money, I have to do that. They maybe don't even believe in soulmates connection or divine partnership or something. Is it too late now? So if this person coming back or wanting to come back here, this person is thinking that, is this too late to fix things or mend things? Because this person could be seeing you that you moved on or vice versa. You are seeing them that they moved on and you're still stuck there. It's maybe you. You need to make a choice now. You need to think about your future now. Move forward. If you're seeing this person is too busy in the life or they're not choosing you, they're still hanging, that they left you hanging, you don't know where you stand with this person. So they think about themselves. This is somebody, you can see that. It's like with the mouse, they choose themselves. They choose their money. They, they were selfish. They were stubborn. They were definitely think about themselves, their position, their power, their, their image. With the Knight of Wands, this person wasn't even a player. They were just having fun. They were having a good time. Or maybe you were just friends or benefits. It's like something to do with, like, they were having a good time, fun, you know? So a lot of you, I think you're definitely going to realize a lot of things in this month about this person, this situation. You just need to calm and relax and do stuff and keep moving forward. But I also believe there is somebody coming back to you wanting. It's like they want a new beginning. They want to see where this can go. It's not like coming back. It's not your ex. This is somebody, a situation ship, like somebody that, who put you, hang, who put you on hang. They, they, they left you hanging. They, they, decept, they were deceptive. They thought it's not going to be possible. So they were deceitful. They were not honest with you about their feelings. With the Knight of Wands, it's like they just keep making themselves busy with other options or distracting a lot of things. They were having fun of their life. But at the same time, they were keeping the eye on you. Because they know that the back of their mind, they know that uh, you like them or you want to be with them. But now you're not there anymore, maybe. And this person is now regretting and thinking about you. They want to give this relationship a chance to try where this can go. But again, it's going to be up to you um, if you're going to be there with this person or not. Yeah, four of swords and three of swords. A lot of you, I think you're healed from this person's situation already. With this four of swords and three of swords. Look at this. You're healed already. So this is that person who stole your heart or broke your heart, wanting to come back. Wanting to return. Or some of you, you need to make this like a very tough and difficult life decision. Even though it's, it's breaking your heart. It's breaking your heart, but you just need to heal and think about your future. Think about, plan about your future. You cannot wait for somebody forever so, so they can choose you or they can pick you. It's like your life is on the hang. Your life is on the pause. And eight of swords, and that's why you're stuck. You have no idea where are you going, where this relationship is going, or where are we moving. Some of you, you're also having a difficult time to find your purpose or, or find a very stable and job. Like you, you have still no idea what, what, what you can do or what you can what you're capable of, I think you need to definitely, it's like have this like uh, take control of your life and finally understand what you can do. You need to do it, you need to stand up and go after your passion or something that you really, really desire, wanna do. So I think with the emperor here, this person could be your divine masculine or you think like that, they're your divine masculine. So I'm feeling in this pile is definitely there is New beginning here, beginning here is that meaning you're maybe getting to know somebody, you're liking somebody or so your friends or mutual friends or somebody's going to introduce you to somebody, but there is somebody back of your mind that you need to let it go or vice versa. This could be even uh, somebody who want to reconnect with you, want to give this relationship a chance, but is it too late? You're going to think about it. You're going to make a choice if you want to be with this person or not. And others of you, this is, this is for those group of people that who are definitely in illusion and fantasy being with somebody that you never met or you never had like equal give and take relationship. This person never did something, said something or do something. Move on. It's like you're just living in the dream here, fantasy. It's very difficult, right? But that's, that's what it is. You can even, you know, pull this arrow on me. It's okay. I don't mind it. But obviously someone need to do this. Someone need to wake you up before it's too late for you. I'm also seeing collaboration happening or maybe something that you're starting. You may be starting your own business. Some of you, you're even planning to go somewhere else, I think. Yeah, you're gonna go, I don't know, you're traveling, you're definitely gonna go somewhere. Either permanently you're going or you're shifting or there's a big shift happening in your mindset or you should, you should do it, thinking about it. Yeah, we have a money spell here. So some of you, you're putting the money spell and it's going to work in your favor, definitely. 
yeah some of you could be working in the banking job or this person could be in the banker you know or some type of building that you're going yeah could be an interview and job yeah some of you definitely maybe going to get a job into something and you're going to be selected yeah someone is definitely look at this you could be dealing with a gemini wearing the mask not telling you about their feelings they are hiding it this person is good and they could be christian or this is a very obstacle it's a big uh, challenging connection between you and this person it's very spiritually growing you uh, number three and six could be important and we also have a O, oh, zero could be 30, 60, 70. We have a T, T, B. So throwback, definitely throwback. This is definitely somebody from your past. We have a camera. This person is watching you. Are you watching this person pictures throwback? Definitely somebody is reflecting what they did, where they went wrong or all that stuff. We have a number seven, spiritual connection, definitely releasing the past. Unicorn, magical things happening for you, or you can ma manifest or magical things here. Some of you are definitely going through spiritual awakening and healing. So this is all temporary. You're going through your own triple seven. Told you it's a spiritual thing here. Triple seven also talk about happiness and abundance here. You will be lucky in some matters. You will be lucky, slowly and surely, but moving forward, growing somewhere, planting the seed for the future, planning the future. W could be important here. It's about giving me the vibe of like winner. You are going to win something. If you have any type of a competition, you're going to win it. Yeah, you're, it's a, oh yeah, it's like a horseshoe, shoe horse. Yeah, so something about, you will be lucky, especially in the matter of money and finances. You will be lucky, luck will be in your favor. A lot of money, you're attracting a lot of money. Gemini, here you go, I told you, you could be even dealing with the Taurus. Number five, the big change is happening. Your leaf, uh, something going to happen in the autumn. Something that you're also going to take the leap of faith. We have why. Yeah, you have a lot of question. Why? You're thinking about why. Okay, we have a G. Okay, some of you is the LGBT community. I don't know. You guys could be or this person could be from that. Yeah, they maybe even call themselves unicorn. Or LGBTQ community. Yeah, we also have, oh my God, L. <laughs> yeah, LGBT. Yeah, 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 yeah. So some of you is like that, you know. We also have fish here, Pisces energy here, but it's also talking about going with the flow. Yeah, and also could be creativity. Some of you, you're going to be very lucky in your creative endeavors uh, or something creative coming. You're also going to start something new and creative. Yeah, we have an ace of sword. Yeah, here you go. So this is definitely a communication or truth is coming out about somebody or somebody's um, sexuality. Like they maybe were hiding with a mask here. They were hiding who they truly are. It's going to come out. Are you going to come out? But it's very difficult and challenging here. This person could be into both genders, I don't know, or you could be. Yeah, there's something about this person is hiding their identity. They're hiding about their sexuality. Yeah, so that's what you're going to get. Okay, so some of you, you're going to hear that about this person. Anything else? Uh, yeah, and we have the Eiffel Tower, Paris here. So yeah, something romantic. Something about fashion. Something about designing. Something about uh, creativity. Maybe you're going there or maybe this person and you are going to meet. Some of you are going to shifting there. Paris, are you going to go there for your some type of fashion week or some type of creative work? You're going to be lucky in something. You're going to be selected in something. So good luck for those people. That's a reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye. Hello, group number three. Welcome. If you choose this uh, heart cover and your zodiac sign could be, if you choose it by zodiac sign, then it's uh, Taurus, Pisces. Aquarius and Leo. You could be dealing with a cancer. I don't know why it's came up, but yeah. Okay, let's see. What is the theme of your reading? It does not have to be this is your zodiac sign, but somebody pick it up. So let's see if you have the tower. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Let's pull some oracles card here to see. So you could be dealing with Aries and Scorpio. Cancer, I'm picking up. Something about letter W. You could be winning something or winning over somebody. There's some type of uh, truth is coming out about someone. But it's, it's a definitely tower movement. It's something shocking and surprising coming. Oh, you're going to be lucky. Letter I, V, or X also could be important here. Or W. I'm picking up. Let's see. And also I'm going to pull the oracles card from this. One card. Oh, yeah. Okay. The next card after the tower is a star. Okay. 
Got it. Something, your wish is coming true. It's gonna be in a good way, I think. Yeah, something about your wish is coming true, about someone or something that you manifested, something that you prayed for, something that you were waiting for. It's gonna happen in this month. Get ready for that. It could be even shocking. It's coming in the shock. Ooh, you got a lot of cards. Um, because I think you just need to do it. Maybe that's why I did not stop. So maybe universe want to give you something. Oh, here you go. Let's go. All set up. So you got a lot of cards. So let's see. Definitely there's a lot of messages for you. So we have the star. We have the tower and the next card is a star. Because it's number 15 and then 16. Yeah, it says star. Six of cups. We have a hope, dream, inspiration, wish, uh, achievement, progress to goals. Okay. That's your theme here. Then we also have boundaries. Having sensible boundaries is important with somebody. We also have a feelings. Uh, take time out to explore the deep emotions you're experiencing with somebody. Yeah, here you go. We also have, we have enlightenment. With enlightenment there, there is no separation. We recognize that we are one with the divine, okay? There's something about hand gesture here. So again, there is a wish and pray coming true. You're not going to believe that because there's something going to happen like a magical wish for you. Something magical moment or healing moment for you. Let's see. I'm going to see also these cards. So we have a throne, position of authority. Oh, the star and the position of authority. Okay, so some of you, this is you. You're not going to believe that you're getting some type of a power and position. You could be even getting viral. Yeah. I think it's like an overnight success, but you could be even dealing with somebody. Look at the star and the throne. Like somebody who's very, very like a king or queen vibe here. You could be dealing with somebody who is uh, very powerful. They have a position. They're very well recognized. You're not going to believe that, by the way, that this person is coming to you or what. They could be your soulmate. Some of you could be dealing with your soulmate. Your soulmate is approaching you or reaching out to you. Are you going to get this awareness? Uh, or maybe you already have it. Your intuition was telling you with this crown chakra here. We have the crown and we have the crown, the king, you know, our king and queen. Position of authority. You could be getting some type of position here. It's like you're winning something. This person is choosing you. Or you will be selected for something. You will be selected for something. Definitely it's about happiness. You're going to not believe that. Oh my God. It's like a dream come true. We have a caterpillar. Yeah, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Here you go. The change is coming. We also have a tortoise, ties. A slowly but surely getting ahead. So you could be dealing with the Taurus. Are they coming very slow? This is a very slow progress here. You may be Taurus. not going to happen. No, 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 no. It's happening. It's coming. I think universe heard. I'm hearing universe heard your wishes and prayers. It's going to be a magical moment for you. I can. It's happening either in the month of September, if it's not in October. Even November. Because the Scorpio season is going to be very important here. Oh my God. Something happening for you. We also have a desk. Uh, pay attention to your work. Yeah, something about your work. But this person could be a writer. Writer or somebody who's like sitting on position. Like they just give the order. Look at this. Throne and the desk. Yeah, this is somebody who, who is in the office. Like somebody who is, who is on a higher position. Like manager or CEO. Or no, or powerful person. They're like they just give the order. They just give the order. Somebody is ordering to, to select you. You could be dealing with Aries. This person could have Aries placements, Aquarius, definitely Aries and Scorpio. Somebody is choosing you. Somebody is writing you something. Somebody is publishing something to you. It looks like you are, okay, some of you it's about appointment letter. Okay, like you're going to be, your wish come true and desire will come true and you're not going to believe that, oh my God, you're working in this type of a big organization, company, institute. It could be appointment letter, definitely. But it's also talking about also maybe you're getting some type of a degree. So it's like professional degree or something. Uh, you're, it's like uh, getting some type of an honor and reward here. Higher authorities are recognizing you or, you know, like choosing you. Are you going to work with some type of a people here that was very well known, very like public figure, I don't know, with a star and the throne, like these people are sitting on the power. You may be sitting on some type of a table here that's going to be sitting of very powerful people there. You're not going to imagine that, that you're just sitting there in that room in front of that person, whoever this is. You're not going to believe that, that you're sitting in front of this person. 
But this could be you. You're getting position and power, authority. Um, you're, you're promoted somewhere, okay? It's like something is written, something is done. Uh, you're receiving it. And you're not going to believe that. But I both mostly feel strongly I'm picking up. You're going to meet somebody. You're not going to believe that you're sitting with this person. And it's only between you and this person. Like, you're not going to believe that. It's a table. Th this is that person who's sitting there, and you will be in front of this person. You're not going to believe that, that you're sitting in front of this person. So you, this person could be even some type of a politician or leader or somebody who's the owner of the company or somebody who is like, it's like the king of the kingdom, you know, like somebody, I don't know. It's a good news for you. You're going to win it. I told you, you're winning. This person is writing you something or they maybe want to meet you. I think you, you definitely, and, and I, I also believe that there will be a people, it's like there's a, can you see that? Like, I'm going to show you. Can you see that? There's a desk here and there's a people. It's like it's just uh, legs here of the desk, but there's a people here. So I think this is, th this is not easy to be with this person. It's not easy to be with this person, to meet this person. I think there's a security around this person. Our security cameras, the people are watching, or, or you know, like there's a security here. So this is that person that you're, you're going to meet. Oh my God, I don't know who you're meeting, but... It's something public figure or somebody who's like uh, have a power position. It's happening. It's slowly but surely you're happening. Um, you may be joining this company and you're gonna give this person an interview or they maybe wanna meet you. They have a plan. A chain, big change is coming into your life. They have a plan. And look what we have, horseshoe, good luck. You will be lucky. You will be lucky. Because this person is going to be impressed by your mind. They're going to be impressed by, what do you call? Uh, they're going to be impressed by your intelligence, your smartness. Uh, this is also somebody, achievement. This is a big achievement for you. This person is a high achiever too. They are very high achiever. I don't know who you're dealing with, but that's what is coming. But this could be also you. You're getting this recognition, reward, or popularity and success and achievement award or something, or, or this offer. Um, you prayed for it, I can see that. It's like this is something that you wish for, prayed for, but it's also written for you. I don't know who I'm reading for, but obviously it's not gonna resonate with everybody. But some of you definitely, it's like you're wishing and praying for it, and this is like a wish coming true. And you're not gonna believe that. It's also feelings attached here. This person could be very, very attached with you. And you put the boundaries with this person. And because maybe there's also energy here that, um, you know, after that, this getting position and power, you are going to put a lot of people the boundaries. I think you're going to cut people out from your life. Especially if you're getting the popularity and success. Because people are definitely not going to, they're going to be jealous or envious of your success or, or whatever the position that you're getting. After that, you need to definitely cut off a lot of people because it's not easy to be with this person. Yeah, this person could be in a status. This is a high status person, I don't know. Uh, I'm picking up, I don't know who this person is, but they have a high status. This is somebody that you're not going to believe that it's happening for you. Yeah, this is an overloader. They work very hard. They're very successful. We have excess obligation and overwhelm. Some of you, you could be working very hard here. So this is that person who's coming to ease your load here. So they're going to give you some type of opportunity that's going to be once in a lifetime. That's going to change your life for the better. You will be lucky being working with this person. They want to help you. This person want to help you to grow. They want to, they want to make you a star. They want to make you this like, you're going to feel like a star, to be honest. You're going to feel like you're a star here, or you are becoming a star. I don't know, because you're getting popular, you're getting famous, you're getting viral, or you're getting recognized because of your work, achievement, and success. You could be getting some type of a position here, or some type of a well-known, or very like a popular and famous brand is, is trying to approach you, uh, or, or company. Something that's it's on a high position job, or, or the person that was on a high status coming towards you. Live and learn. Oh, yeah, you're going to learn from this person. 27. They could be a nerd. Definitely, they're very intelligent and smart. I think they see something in you. They think that you have this capability to become a star. And they have the resources, so they want to give you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was right. This is a gift coming from this person. You, maybe... Uh... I'm curious what you did to this person. They are impressed by your aura, your energy, your healing, or something you did to this person. You said something. You write something to this person. So this person is going to give you a gift, whoever this is. I'm also picking up this is a gift and blessing for you. Maybe you're, uh, you're attending some type of a, you know, like uh, you're getting into some type of a 
institute, like very popular and very famous institute or company. It's a gift for you. It's like you're gonna feel like, oh, God is giving me a gift. But this person also have a gift for you. I think they're gonna give you a gift. Yeah, protest here. Perseverance, this person is coming. Okay, I feel with this protest here, maybe um, this person can get sued by their authority. Maybe the, somebody else is, is sitting on the power. And if they will come in to you and give you this gift, they can get pro protested or hated by a lot of people. But they don't care. Because this person's perse perseverance is changing. I think it's going to be a viral news. Or like something is going to be shocking and surprising for this person. Friends, family, community. Um, that they're choosing you or they want to work with you. This person has a gift for you. They want to give you a gift. But maybe there were, there were people who were protesting against this person. Or you change this person's perseverance about something. You give them a resolution. You give them some type of a hope. You give them this healing energy. Or you, you give them some type of an idea. You did something. You did or said something and this person is going to like it. And others of you, it's about, I told you, like some type of job interview. You will go there and this person is going to like your mindset, whoever this person is sitting in the power. So you will be selected. Because of your mindset, because of your perseverance, because of your like facing the challenges. I think this person is going to choose you. This could be when somebody who has a crush on you with a star card. Like, you know that they, they have a crush on you. They like you. And you will be surprised here. Like, literally, this person likes me? Oh my god, really? You're not gonna believe. <laughs> Three of swords here. Okay, some of you, this could be nine of wands. Okay, this is somebody who broke your heart, maybe? Wanting to reconnect with you with the star and uh, the, the tower. Yeah, this could be somebody who's a player. They broke your heart and they're coming to, to mend things, to heal things, things. They learn a lot, I think. You put the boundary definitely with this person. Or this could be somebody. I told you, if this is, this, is, this is somebody new, okay? I think you said something, did something to this person. You chase this person. You like this person. And all of a sudden, you stop talking. You're like, no, I'm going to chase you. You put the boundary here with this person and they like it. Because you're not chasing them because of their status. There's something about this person's status. You're not chasing them. You don't want to be with them because of their status or their star-like qualities. You're not like that type of person. You're totally different. And that's why this person is like, no. So that's the person. They're like, okay, I'm, I'm going to choose that person. Yeah, look at this. They maybe run away from you or they're a runner. They were definitely, they were, you know, like they thought that you're going to chase them. But unfortunately, you did not. You put the boundary with this person. And they're like, what? What just happened? Yeah, five of one. This is a struggle. This is a challenge. For this person to come towards you. I also, look, but I told you with the protest here in five of wands, you're going to get a lot of hate and jealousy because this person is being with you. Are they choosing you? Either it's in the office. This is going to create a lot of um, competition. A lot of people are going to be jealous, envious of you. They're going to be like, why you did that? I think there's a lot of uh, hearts will be broken. If it's in the office, like it's, it's definitely office. Everybody wanted to, to have this position or everybody wanted to impress this person. But you did it. I don't know what you, how you did it, but, but you did it. Or if it's a relationship-wise here, I think this person has a crush on you or they like you or you like this person and you told them. You were very genuine and honest with this person. So there were people who were trying to get this person attention or wanting to be with this person for other reasons. Obviously, their status, their money, their power, like wanting to be. But you just like, no, I'm not. And you did, you did something. Obviously, and they're, they're, they're like, no, I want that person. So they're coming towards you. This person has a gift for you. You help them to get out of maybe some type of protest or, or something like a very challenging situation that they were struggling with. You give them this hope and idea. I think you definitely make this person smile. You make this person heal. You give them the light. You give them, it's like you just give them the guidance. You are the star in this person's life. Yeah, you did something. You definitely awakened something with, that, with this like uh, crown here. You tell them something that is like boost. It's like yeah, energy. They never thought that it's going to be possible. It's just happening because of you. This person is doing this all because of you. This person is, is making the changes or bringing these changes in just because of you. But also, be, I, I, for some of you, it's you. I think you're going to be very like a personal assistant of this person or something. <laughs> if this is an office, uh, is this somebody like a boss, you're going to be personal assistant and a lot of, like, you know, people are going to be jealous or you will be this person personal. I don't know. There's something about... 
It's very difficult to be with this person, by the way. I told you there's a security here. There's a tower here. Like this person is on the top. But you will be there. And you're not going to believe that you're sitting with this person or talking to this person. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, or or some, some, something, something to do with this person maybe need your help. Or maybe they want your you know, like guidance. Like they want to tell you like, what is the resolution, what you think. Uh, they maybe need your help. They, they want to learn from you. Uh, or they, you want to learn from them. I think you both are going to learn together. They maybe want to work with you. Some of you it's a business partnership and others of you it's about because you both could be creative people. Or this person is a very creative person. Two of pentacles, yes. So it's happening. Just, just wait for the right time to things happen for you. I think it's happening in this month. If it's not, then they're just coming. Queen of Pentacles, I told you. You are the one. You could have an earth placement. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And this person is a fiery. I'm picking up fire and air from this person chart. Especially Aries, Scorpio, and Aquarius. They have in their chart. Taurus could be. Or Leo, because we have a Leo, yeah. So they could be that. Or maybe this is your sign. But I think this is them. This is you. You don't like drama. You don't want to get attached with people. You don't want to chase this person. You don't want to go like, choose me, pick me. You know your worth with the Queen of Pentacles. You know your worth and value. You know who you are. You know what do you want. You know where are you going. So you put the boundary with this person. It's really shake up for this person. They're not believing. This is like somebody's in awe of it. Like, how can you not chase me when everybody is fighting for my attention? Everybody's crying for me. Everybody's coming after me. And you're like, no, I'm not going to do that. So you are different. There's something about you, perseverance, like you are different. You are, again, the crown, the crown. So there's something about you. This person is maybe never met somebody like you. They never experienced this type of a connection or maybe a mindset just like you have. Even though it's a work setting, I think they, they think that being with you or you should be in their office is going to be uh, life-changing. I think they think that there will be a lot of progress. There will be a lot of changes. They can overcome any obstacle, but especially you on this person's side. Emotionally, I'm talking about giving birth. So they, they could be have a younger than you, I think. This person thinks that you are the one. Even though people are fighting for this person, they want to be with you. They want to marry you or maybe they have a future plan. Uh, to do a lot of things with you but you're not chasing this person that's why this person is like yeah oh my god the tower again yeah this person coming this person knows that being with you is going to be a protest they, they, they may be going to get sued by something they profess like professor i said no professor like they're gonna get sued by their authority you know like the people who are sitting in the power they're gonna sued by or or you know like people are going to go against them they know that it's gonna be a lot of burden here pressure here but they're still willing to go and see things okay where this can go with the three of wands this person watching you from afar maybe there's distance three of wands in the star they're watching you from afar they're loving you from afar they're admiring you from afar you're not going to believe that when this person is going to reach out to you. Like literally the tower woman trust. It's like the tower reverse. It's, sorry, tower coming twice in your reading. You're mirroring each other. You shake up this person's life like forever. Like this is all. I think there will be a lot of uh, jealousy and hate here towards you. So this person could be protecting you from that. They're waiting for the right time to come towards you. Yeah, they're waiting for the right time. But this person need you, the strength. Oh my God, this, per this person admire your strength. Yeah, we have a Leo and Aquarius. So you guys could be Leo and Aquarius X's and we have it. We also have, I'm picking up, you could be Capricorn. You could be Taurus, you could be Virgo. I don't know, you definitely have a earth and fire placements in you. And this person could be earth and, sorry, fire and air. Or water maybe, I don't know. We have a Aries and Scorpio, very prominent in this person chart. And could be Taurus too. This person find you very strong. This person admire your strength. This person admire your confident, your independence. This is you, you're independent. You are also the person that who are not afraid to go against and protest for things that's really matter, that's very real, very genuine. And that's what this person likes about you. Like you're not the person that you just sit down and you could be even the person that fight for underdog or people who are... Yeah, I think you have this power. Even though this person is on a high status, they are sitting on the power, but you are more stronger than that. You can do it freely. And this person like that. You did something. You give this person strength. Also picking up here. This person gets strength from you. 
just looking at you, just seeing you, just, uh, you know, you, give, you motivate them. You help them heal. You help them deal with the situation, whatever they're going through. I think this person has a gift for you. It's going to be a gift. It's going to be a big gift. You're going to work with this person, under this person, or they're going to give you a star. They're going to make you a star, or they're going to uh, give you some type of opportunity. It's a gift from this person because you did not, you know, like you did not chase them. You do, you're not going crazy over this person. It's a gift from this person to you. Or the special gift that you have, you could be a healer, light worker. You could be a star seed. You could be an earth angel. I don't know. Um, or, or you could be the person that who is like a, that North Star, you know, going after what do you want? You know your worth and value. You're not gonna settle for anything less. Um, so that's what this person shaking up. You maybe have a lot of options coming, attracting a lot of people, or this person has a lot of options. They know that. This person knows that. You have options, they know have options, but it's look like they wanna choose you, they wanna come to you. You, yeah, seven of cups, a lot of options. This person is dreaming about you. This person is also overwhelmed right now because there's a lot of work here they need to do. They also need to create the obstacles here that they're facing right now. They're coming your way. But this person is coming. They want to tell you the truth. They want to put... So some of you, you're going to be shocked and surprised when they will come to you. Maybe you're not going to believe that. You maybe thought, okay, I'm just standing, sending this person a message. I never thought that. Yeah, you're going to think like, oh, it's not that much deep. No, it is. You have no idea how much your words, how much you affected this person. You shake up this person's life. You give them the idea. You give them the clarity. You show them the path. You give them the strength. You have no idea. So this is about to get clear. You will be shocked and surprised. I'm telling you. I don't know. Uh, and Seven of Cups is like also talking. You could be even inspiration for many. A lot of you, you could be a motivational speaker, healer, um, or getting some type of power and position of talking, communicating, telling the truth. You're going to help a lot of people, I think, in this lifetime. But especially this person. And being with this person is also you both are going to help and impact on other people's life. Your wishes and dreams are coming true. This person is going to help you to achieve your dreams. This, only this person can do that. Because this person is written in your destiny in the star. You're meant to be together, by the way, whoever this is. This person is going to help you to achieve your dreams, to give you that family life, uh, whatever you want. So this is your divine counterpart. If you're single here, you're about to meet this person. You could be attracting a lot of people, but this is that one person that you're going to be with. Um, or if you already know them, they're definitely coming on the way. They're on their way. Yeah, you may be thinking, feel rejected or ignored, or you may be thinking that they're not into you because maybe you confess your feeling to this person that you like them. You have a crush on them. There could be a Pisces. Um, but yeah, I think you put the boundary. You don't stop talking. You stop chasing them. So you will be surprised because this person is, is it's a big plan. The universe is planning for something big. But I also believe a lot of you with these two tower moments here, you may be even ending something with the seven of cups, confusion, people. You're becoming more strong independent you're not gonna yeah you're not gonna i think yeah this word and we have this word yeah some type of a truth is coming out this word it's a very clear cut truth and communication coming from somebody you're also cutting a lot of people from your life in your reading it's a lot of synchronicity and a lot of mirror energy going on here you're mirroring this person you know who i'm talking about or you will know it very clearly it's like something is going to be awakened to you you'll be shocked and surprised yeah, something with the music related here, 4-3. We also have a writer. I told you this person, gonna, they could be a writer or they're typing something for you. It's coming, letter or message. Or This person could be a music writer, they're a musician. So they may be sharing their feelings to you. Are they going to write something through lyrics or sharing the music, 4-3, 2-C-B. We have a lotus flower. It's about spirituality, healing. Yeah, you're very peaceful for this person, C. Q. And we have a cassette. Yeah, again, something with the music here. Good vibes. This person feels very good vibes. Yeah, heart chakra. You're opening this person's heart. They want to get committed to you or married to you. Or there's a, some type of a business partnership happening that's going to change your life. This person is going to give you a platform or resources or they think you can do it. Seven plus plus five. Pay attention to the number. You also have a P. Pub. I'm hearing pub. Nine. No, six. We have... Minus and W, yeah. You will be equal. This separation is going to get over and you're coming together. You will be equal. This person treats you like an equal. They think that you're the one. F. FB or Facebook or it could be boyfriend, BF. Yeah, this person want to be your boyfriend. California. You will go there maybe. I'm hearing pic, picnic. I don't know. These are the letters here. So that's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye. God bless you all.